Historically, West Virginia is coal mining country. After the railroad companies started carving routes through the Appalachian Mountains, coal mining really took off here between 1880 and 1900. New communities popped up throughout the region virtually overnight as immigrants from Europe and African Americans from the South poured into West Virginia for jobs and better lives for their families. These beautiful rolling hills are filled with old mining towns. By the beginning of the 20th century, West Virginia was the national leader in the production of coal. However, West Virginia was also known as the leader in something else, dangerous working conditions in its mines. Year after year, West Virginia had more mining-related accidents and deaths than any other state. Then, on December 6, 1907, an explosion occurred in Monongah, West Virginia, that's still considered the worst mining disaster in American history. The explosion happened at the Fairmont Coal Company's number six and number eight mines, probably when a spark from a miner's lantern ignited methane gas. There were officially 367 men in the two mines at the time. 362 of them died almost instantly. This is a monument to the Monongah mining disaster of 1907. The terrible tragedy was one of the final events leading to the creation of the United States Bureau of Mines, a government oversight agency with the mission to inspect mines, train crews, provide rescue services, and investigate disasters. It was considered a major safety initiative for coal miners in the entire mining industry. In addition to the Bureau of Mines, the labor union known as the United Mine Workers of America worked to create additional safety regulations. As a result, the following decade saw a steady decline in mining-related accidents here in West Virginia and the rest of America. West Virginia coal was a big part of the Industrial Revolution. It was primarily used to power steam engines, heat buildings, and generate electricity. As America's infrastructure developed, West Virginia coal also filled an important role in steel production, especially to the north in Pennsylvania.